Hey guys, thanks for joining me, Jamie here. I'm a professional chef in Melbourne and with Christmas on the way, we're getting inundated with dinner parties and I've been requested to make a mince pie cheesecake. Never done it before, so I thought I'd bring you along on the journey. I think it's gonna turn out pretty well. I've got some great fruit mints for it. So let's just get into it and get this one going. The first thing we need to do is preheat the oven. So mine's already on 160 and then we're gonna make the base. So I'm just gonna use the standard digestive and butter mix. You can put cinnamon and other things in there if you wanted to, just to give it a bit more flavor. But I'm thinking with the mince pie mix, we don't wanna overpower it. And I'm gonna put this with a plum ice cream. So it's 13 of these seem to work pretty well for the standard tin size. So you get a nice even crust. It's not too thick, not too thin. So 13 seems to be the number that works really well. So they can go straight in. And then I've got 35 grams of butter as well. So you can bang that on and blitz it. And then when that's done, we can just pour it straight into our into our tray and then push it into the corners. So make sure it really gets into the corners where the sheet joins the sides, just to make sure that you don't get any leakage. You want that area to be lipped just to make sure that you're not getting any runoff down there. And then just press it in to the corners quite firmly. It's much better if your butter is like room temperature when you put it into the blender, otherwise the blade just chops it up and it's not, as it's not melted, it's not really binding those biscuit crumbs together. So just press that into the corners until it's nicely compact. And then this can go straight into the oven. So we put that in the oven for three to four minutes and what happens is the butter melts and as it, when it comes out, it then firms up much better. Because if you were just to leave it like that, when it comes to serving, it will start to, the crumbs will just start to break and you won't get such a clean slice. So by putting it into the oven for that three or four minutes, you're just gonna get a much firmer crust and it makes it visually better on the plate. So while that's going, we can start with the cheesecake mix. So first up is three eggs and then 100 grams of sugar. So just put those straight in, bang the lid on, and then we're gonna blend those until they're pale in color. While the eggs are blending, we can pour our cream into a bowl and we're gonna whisk that up until it's quite firm. And then afterwards, we're just gonna fold it all together. So my eggs are now pale and my cream is firm. So I'm just gonna throw my Philadelphia into the mix with the eggs and the sugar, along with a tablespoon of vanilla paste. So you can use one pod for this, or just a few drops of extract. And then, to start with, I'm gonna put in half a jar of mince pie mix. If you wanted to, you could just fold it in with the cream, but I want it to be completely smooth. I don't want those raisins to give it any texture. I just want a really smooth, nice, clean cut, because what will happen when we come to portion it, if you've got raisins in there, it's just gonna tear it, and you're not gonna get such a nice, clean cut on it. So, but if it's just for home, then it's perfectly fine just to have it with a bit more texture. This smells pretty good, so we're just gonna give it a try, just to see how it tastes, if it's strong enough. And there's plenty of flavor in there. So we're gonna fold this into our cream. And just scrape all of that out. And then just fold it in until you get a nice, smooth consistency. Once that's nice and smooth, just make sure while this is still warm that you've got all the corners covered. 
and then we can just pour this into the middle and let it work its way out. So just scrape it all down so it's clean. And then that can go straight into the oven and I'm just gonna drop the oven down. to about 140 and we're going to check that after 25 minutes just to see how it is. I've got another cheesecake recipe on the channel that's with Nutella which I'm just going to link up above and definitely worth going to check that one out because it is legendary but because this one has got more moisture in it the cooking time is going to change so I'm going to start with 25 minutes and then we're just going to see how it is and with this one I'm not going to put any topping on it so we need to cook it slower because if you cook it at a higher temperature what happens with the eggs in there is it rises and then as it cools it splits so we want to cook it at a lower temperature and then we want to leave it cool in the oven so there isn't that dramatic temperature change where it drops because what happens as it rises is it cracks and then as it cools it drops back down and creates a crater in the middle so it's super important that we cook it slower and we leave it in the oven to cool so we're going to check back in 25 minutes and see how it is And you can see that it's quite firm, but it's still got a little bit of movement in. It looks like it should just be slightly undercooked. So I'm just gonna test it with a skewer. And I've got a little bit of moisture there. So it's slightly under. So what we're gonna do is we just place that back into the oven. Turn the oven off and then with the heat of the oven that's just going to carry on cooking so by the time it's warm that little bit of cooking that it needs left will be done and then we can um, portion it up dust it and have a taste test so i've given my cheesecake that time to cool so i'm just going to run the knife around the outside just to make sure it doesn't stick it really does smell of mince pies. So I think we've got a good amount in there. Gonna pop that lid. And there it is. I've got some icing sugar. We can just dust this. And then we just portion this up. That is super, super soft. Ah, oh, that's got a great, a great texture. And then we can just pull that out and we can see there that that has got a fantastic that is super soft it's still slightly warm so it will firm up a little bit more let's just give it a try look at the way it's breaking away that is super super soft so that is literally melt in the mouth so got a great flavor as far as the mince pie is concerned and then the base just needs to firm up a little bit so if it went into the fridge just to give it that bit of time to firm up then it would have a lot more structure but really that is just super soft just look at this man that is almost like a souffle so really really light so a great little finish to a Christmas day lunch. So give it a go. Let me know what you think. Comment below if you like this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when I put my next video up. So ring that bell and until the next one, happy cooking and I'll see you there.